Real Life Night Warfare is a spectacle of lights to the naked eye and in the infrared spectrum. Thanks to the proliferation of tracer units, glow-in-the-dark DBs, and muzzle flash devices specifically for airsoft guns, we can now enjoy almost the same level of light show entertainment or immersion during nighttime airsoft games. Yeah, I'm drawing a lot of fire. I'm firing Jesse. Jesus, sink a grenade down there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh god, this is this is definitely the end. I can't hear you. Yes. The night game can be a lot of fun depending on what you're looking to do. In my experience, I've seen two types of players with their coinciding styles of gameplay. Stealthy players and light show players. Light show players are exactly what you'd expect by their title. They usually have some combination of a high powered flashlight, tracer unit, muzzle flash device, glow in the dark BBs, and or a laser. These players enhance the night game experience with their array of special effects. When engaged with other light show players, a reciprocating synergy of immersions or spectacle of lights begins to happen between them, and it's a lot of fun. Lately, I've found myself being more of a light show player. During night games, I sit back and shoot at other light show players just to watch and see what cool lights or effects get shot back at me. I then try to prolong the firefight as long as possible depending on how cool everything looks. Stealthy players are just what you'd expect from their title. These are usually players with night vision, very quiet airsoft guns, and an own the night attitude. There's nothing wrong with this style of play, it's just centric to only that group's enjoyment. When both these types of players show up to a night game, unfortunately there's always almost conflict. Stealthy players lose their ability to sneak around due to all the lights from other players and are frequently team killed in the confusion of darkness. Light show players typically want to enjoy the ambiance of the game. This makes them easy targets for opposing stealth players, resulting in frequent walks back to respawn while missing the light show. There's a long list of grievances from both sides, the most common being, I spent unreasonable dollar amount on insert expensive equipment here. Everyone should cater to my playstyle. No one should be forced to cater to someone else's playstyle just because they thought they spent a lot of money on equipment. In fact, we all spend a lot of money on equipment. That's just part of Airsoft. My advice to game organizers or players dealing with that situation is to let the stealth players play against other stealth players. Likewise, let the light show players play against other light show players. Stealth players can enjoy the thrill of the hunt against other elusive minded players in a clandestine battle of covertness. Meanwhile, light show players can bedazzle one another with their exhibition of photons. For this game's light show, I used a SEMA Strike Industries Trax AK-74. This was called the SEMA Alton, but for some reason the name has changed on the evic.com website. The version of the gun I am using cost around 330 US dollars. Powering my AG is a Titan Power 11.1 volt 2600 milliamp lithium ion battery. This battery costs around $28 on evic.com, and depending on how trigger happy you are, this battery can last an entire weekend. If you are the type of player that's pretty heavy on the trigger, I recommend the 3000 milliamp version. 
On my AK is a Spitfire Tracer and Muzzle Flash unit firing ASG green tracer BBs. A bottle of 3300 BBs costs around $18, and unless you're using a lot of fully automatic, one bottle should be enough for one night. Magazines are PTS TPM AK midcaps. These magazines are spring powered, translucent, and hold 155 BBs. These cost around $20 each, and I am carrying four of these particular mags. If you're in the market for a good tracer and muzzle flash device, I would highly recommend the Ace Tech Bifrost. This unit has several modes of light flashes, including a rainbow mode, and comes with the most common thread adapters for AEGs and pistols. This unit will cost around 90 US dollars, but has a lot more utility than other tracer muzzle flash devices. Overall cost for my setup is roughly 538 US dollars. What type of night game player are you? Let me know in the comments. That's going to wrap up this video, and as always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. So <laughs> you just won Call of Duty, how do you feel? You just won Call of Duty. I'm going to Disneyland. Didn't I shoot you guys? Oh, you missed both of us, bro. Okay, whatever. That's fine.